Hi there, my name is Johnny Watts and I work for Country Living Magazine. Uh, welcome to Country Living Celebrate Summer Home Weekend. I am at my home down in Cornwall in the garden and I'm going to show you how to make an outdoor cinema space. Let's go! Right then, so I'm going to show you all of the bits that I'm going to use to put together my garden outdoor cinema. There are, obviously you can swap and change all of these bits, you can um, dress it in so many different ways, um, but I'm going to give you the basis of what I'm going to use um, to make it look lovely, make it feel homely and bring a bit of the out inside outside. Uh, so first of all, if you come a bit closer, um, I'm going to use as my screen a white bed sheet um, just because it's simple, I already got one. Um, if you wanted to, you can order a cinema screen online. They're readily available um, and they're not too expensive. They're about 30 pounds for a cinema screen, but for this use, a white sheet works fine. So then you need something to affix your white sheet um, to where, however you're gonna hang it. So you can either hang it on the side of your side of a building, the side of a shed in your garden. Um, you can hang it to between windows and shut the sheet in some windows to make sure the screen is nice and taut. Um, and uh, you can either then use nails straight into the sheet, um, which make me, mean it's nice and uh, the whole screen is nice and taut and films really well. Um, or I, you can use nappy pins um, and just pin the sheet around whatever you're using. Um, obviously, because it's a material, you can um, sew anything through it, you can pin anything through it. Um, so that means this bit should be relatively easy as long as you've got your space sorted where you're going to put your cinema. So next is the projector itself. So this is the vital bit um, and the only sort of relatively expensive part of, of doing this. Although the price has come down a huge amount in recent years. So you can pick up one online for about 120 pounds now. Um, if you want a slightly better one, they go up to they go up to sort of the thousands if you wanted to. But for outdoor use, um, I wouldn't recommend getting a really expensive one. I've got an Optima projector. I'd really recommend them. Um, they're really bright. So you want to get a high high lumens, um, that's the, the measurement of light. So over 3000 lumens of your, in your projector means you'll be able to see it outside really clearly. Um, sec next up, um, I've got a picnic blanket so we can lay out somewhere nice to, to sit. I've got some outdoor lighting. Uh, these are festine lights from Garden Trading. So I'll hang these all around the screen, screen to make it look lovely and homely. I've then got loads of lanterns. Um, as you can tell, I love lanterns. We're gonna put them all around um, so that when the sun goes down, it creates a really nice atmosphere. And then lots of soft furnishing. So I've got some Emily Bond pillows. You can use, uh, yeah, like I say, pillows, blankets, uh, whatever it is to make yourself comfortable. We've got some chairs just over here as well, which we're gonna sit in the back, just so that it's, we're um, gonna have a nice viewing experience. So I'm going to show you now a quick time lapse of us uh, putting the cinema screen together. In this case, I'm going to use um, some bits of old pallets, which we had behind the shed. So I'm going to attach the screen to the pallet um, and then set the projector up just in front of it so you can see uh, how it works. Here we go. Okay, we're nearly done. I've just showed you a super quick time lapse um, of setting up all of the basics and I've nearly finished dressing. Uh, so I just thought I'd give you a quick walk around to show you where I've got to. Uh, so first and first, the screen, um, which you saw, it took a bit of adjusting to get it right. And I used some uh, nappy pins, a bit of string um, to tie it against the, the crates, which I've used in the back. Um, and then I put the festoon lighting around the edge uh, of the screen so it looks pretty when the sun goes down. So next up is the projector itself. Um, so I've hooked that up to an extension lead, which I've got running over to the shed. Um, that will then have an HDMI lead to my laptop to play the film. Uh, and most of the projectors these days do have a built-in speaker, but normally they're not great. Uh, so I'd recommend 
plugging in something else. You can use uh, an AUX cable um, into the back of uh, an old speaker that you've got in the house. I'm using an old uh, Bose speaker that we had from a few years ago to connect to my laptop. So, so we've got some better sound quality. And it's as simple as that. Once the sun goes down, I'll turn the projector on. Um, I'll make sure the brightness is nice and high because we're outside. Um, and then we should have sound. So we're on to finishing touches. Uh, in true country living fashion, I've cut some hydrangeas from the garden um, and added them in. I thought it would be, uh, it looks lovely. You're gonna be sat there for quite a long time watching a film. So you wanna make it look as pretty as possible. Um, I've got uh, a fire pit behind me as well. So if it gets a bit chilly in the evening, uh, we'll set that, set that alight uh, and it lets off a lot of warmth. It creates a really homely feel. Um, and as you're outside, it's nice to make sure you keep warm. Um, and then we've got loads of scatter cushions. Oh my goodness, I've probably got over 10 scatter cushions. The more you can add to your picnic blanket, the better. Um, I think you're gonna, be, you're gonna want to be as comfortable as possible, so add as many soft furnishings as you can. Uh, I put quite a few lanterns around as well. Um, these are the type which uh, won't blow out in the wind, so that's kind of handy. They've all got a candle in them, so I'll light those later on. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like when, it, when the sun goes down. Uh, and then finally, I have made a cocktail because what goes better with a film than a homemade cocktail, which I'll show you how to make now. Right, now that we've made our outdoor cinema space, uh, I thought what goes better with a cinema session than a great cocktail. So I thought I would make a really simple cocktail um, that you can make at home. All the bits are really easy to get hold of in the supermarket. There's only five ingredients, um, so it's really quick to make. So all that's needed is some lemonade. Uh, I've got some ginger ale or ginger beer. If you like the stronger ginger uh, flavor, definitely go for a ginger beer. Uh, I've got some cranberry juice, and as my alcohol, I've got some hedgerow gin vodka, um, which you can shop from hedgerow this weekend at the Country Living Artisan pop-up market. Um, and then to garnish, I've got some fresh mint from the garden, I've got some berries here, I've got some raspberries, strawberries, and uh, some citrus fruit. Uh, you can use any citrus fruit, but I'm using an orange. Uh, so first things first, if you put a bit of ice into your jar, whichever you want, you be using, and a bit into your glasses, just so that it's nice and chilled when you taste the glass as well. Next up, uh, it's really simple uh, quantities, so I just use a mug to do this. So you can obviously up the um, up the mug quantities if you want to make the recipe a lot bigger, but I've just made it enough for this jug size here. So all that's needed is two mugs of cranberry juice. Uh, And then it's as simple as one mug of everything else. Um, if you add, you want to make sure that you add the ginger uh, at the final stage, so just make sure that you add that last. Um, but if we then go for our lemonade, it doesn't spill all over me. Okay, so it's one mug of lemonade. Just like that. One mug, one big mug of vodka. And finally, uh, I'm going to use ginger ale. It's a slightly sweeter, softer flavour, nice for a summer cocktail. Um, especially nice if ice cold. That's one thing I would say about this recipe. If you chill everything before you start to make it, it makes the whole recipe really zing. It's so much nicer if it's crispy cold. So I definitely recommend that uh, first. Um, and then you can add your garnishing. So here I'm adding a strawberry, a couple of strawberries I'll throw in. Which would be lovely. Chocolate in half as well. It just adds to the flavor. Make sure that it gets into your cocktail. 
couple of strawberries. I'm going to chuck in a few raspberries as well. And then finally, I'm going to add some mint from the garden. It's nice to add a bit of greenery to a cocktail. It's nice to have that fresh flavour. And then So you can let that sit uh, for about uh, half an hour or so in the fridge, um, just to chill it down even more. And then uh, when you're ready to pour, just pour it away into your glasses. And then if you want to, you can garnish your glasses as well. So I'm going to use some kind of orange to do that. Just a few slices of orange will do. Sit nicely on the side of your cocktail, just like that. I hope you enjoyed uh, my video on how to make an outdoor cinema and an easy cocktail. As you can see, I'm just waiting for the sun to go down and then I'll show you how it looks in the dark and our first screening. But thanks very much for joining us. Um, have a great weekend shopping at the pop-up market this weekend and I hope you enjoy all of the content. See you soon. Bye.